Hey all, this is part 16, and we're going to be transforming an array into a string, but in a very specific fashion. Uh, so this is all going to be circling around the join method. So dot join is something we can call on an array, and it'll essentially join the elements of that array in a fashion that we specify. So let's consider the first case, which is we do not specify anything joined on nothing. So we're not going to supply any arguments to this method. If we do that, this is what it looks like just separated by commas. Nothing really special and nothing really that useful either. One of a uh, slightly more useful case would be, let's say we want to join it on an empty string, which would be just to push all of the elements of the array together into a string without any separation or uh, any specific separation. So if we do that, we're just going to get one string, no spaces, no anything, just the elements of the array uh, joined oddly enough, together without anything separating them. And let's do one where we're joining on a string, and that's going to look like this. In this case, the string is going to be a dash. So if we do this, it's going to join the elements of that array into a string with the uh, argument that we pass to join as what separates them. And so we could also say uh, separator, 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 separated. And so we'll run this. And you can see that whatever we put there is what ends up separating uh, the elements of the array in the resulting string. Um, another version, of course, would be like you know, a space and a dash. And hopefully we're starting to get the idea. So now let's talk about a couple of uh, examples slightly closer to something you might actually see. Uh, this is the one that doesn't really have much utility. Uh, there's probably a way to use this that I'm not really familiar with. Um, but if we say we wanted like a counting sequence, perhaps you wanted that listed out like in like a, you know, script or something. It's going to list them out with commas in between those. Uh, here's one that comes up very often. For example, let's say that we wanted to split, uh, sorry, getting ahead of ourselves. Let's consider that we have uh, the letters of a word saved in an array for some reason and we're going to join those together without any spaces in between them. So here we're declaring a variable called joiner, and rather than passing an empty string to join, we're actually just going to pass that variable joiner. Uh, it does the same thing, though. And if we look at what this outputs, it's going to join the word together, you know, resulting in the actual word. The last example we're going to do is going to be joining it on a specific string, but that specific string is going to be a space. And the idea here is that these are words in a sentence, and we want to join them into an actual sentence. So if we run this, we're going to see that we have now joined them, each with a space in between them. And that's approaching a sentence. The reason I say approaching a sentence is because there's no period or exclamation point, but that's okay. So we are going to complete a function that takes in one array parameter, the elements will be strings, and one string parameter, and returns a string that is the result of joining the elements of the string together, separated by the string parameter. Your function should create a joined string variable and assign it to a call to the join method and return the join string variable. Mm, that should say call to the join method on the string parameter, uh, essentially because we're, we're going to be doing a version of it kind of like this, where we have some string that we want to join it on. So with that in mind, let's copy the function stub, get our test cases, And nothing super, super complicated here. We're going to create our joined string variable. We're going to assign it to array of strings dot join on the input string. And we're going to return the joined string. If we run this and we get our first dash, dash, second, dash, dash, third, and then git commit, we're looking good. So let's copy and paste this in the input window. And that trims our whiskers. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.